Good morning, good Thursday morning to you, which I am filming this on Monday uh, before our first spring potential for our first spring storm. Well, it would be a winter storm, but it's 67 degrees. This doesn't happen in January, and when it does, you take advantage of it. Anyway, um, the reason why I'm coming you to you today, uh, I want to speak about goals for my our homestead. Um, let me turn the camera around and show you one of my goals. One of my goals is garden related. I want to have a very bond bountiful garden very bountiful tomatoes i want to have a beautiful garden with flowers and herbs and you know all of that good stuff but i want to grow tomatoes uh, i want to have a plenty of beans to can uh, plenty of tomatoes so i won't have to buy any tomatoes to can i still might um but I want my garden to be beautiful and kind of whims whimsy, uh, beautiful, beautiful to look at, very productive. So I am working on that. We are in veggie land. Um, I know this row is not straight. I need to straighten it up. But this is the last row the last two rows it was at one time one full row but i want to make it into two different rows i want to like a hoop right there um i don't know exactly what i'm planting there but i know cucumbers and beans is on the agenda uh for planting besides my tomatoes and my peppers and the flowers and all that stuff um and the lettuce and the brassicas but I am going to try to uh, do a little bit of square foot gardening this year to try to get more production out of my garden. Hopefully, um, last year when the drought came, I mean, we had lots of rain all of a sudden in the spring, and then, bam, the drought happened. So each year is a different thing. I did buy tomatoes last year. Um, we'll probably buy tomatoes again. Hopefully they will be affordable uh, with everything and prices of everything um, from my little local produce stand. But that is one goal I have for my garden for to be more productive, more beauty. Um, I'm going to try to buy more irises uh and maybe day lilies i'm not a hundred percent on the day lilies uh besides having my garden fenced off at least veggie land and strawberry fields which this is this area right here and i on this bed i am planning on i have an idea for it it'll be a square foot garden for sure um i do have a design i copied out of a book that i had checked out at the library um so moving on to the next area moving on for my goats my goal for my goats if if by chance um popcorn which is laying over there or polly if they if they have bucklings, uh, I will probably be selling their offspring uh, this year. Um, so unless there's something really beautiful that pops out of either poly or popcorn, their babies will be for sure sold. Um, because my plan is for my goats is to get me another buckling that is not related can't be related and have him be polled polled means no horns they are born with no horns uh now daisy if she has babies i will think about whether or not it all depends on if they're if she does like she did this this past year and she gave me two does uh which is dolly and daphne which daphne i don't know uh but that is the plan right now i am 
planning on getting me another buckling. Um, I don't know what color I want. I'd like to have him pulled. Uh, Blue Eyes is a plus. So that is my goal for my goats this year. Go for the greenhouse is get a door and get this in covered up, installed, um, some kind of door. I don't know if I want it in the middle or on the side. Excuse me. I am talking. Anyway, but my goal is to get that end of the greenhouse enclosed. And maybe different plastic. The next roosters are crowing. That means weather's going to change. That's what they always say. This is in the afternoon. Like I said, it's 67, 68. It's supposed to reach 70 today. Anyway, the next goal will be a big undertaking. And uh, I will be watching uh, several canning videos because I like to have every one of my jars full by December the 31st. Every one of my candy jars full of something. Uh, whether it be a mix of some sort or well, jams, jellies. There's only two of us, but I do give my jams and jellies away as gifts. Um, but that is one of my last goals is to have every jar every jar full that is my goal for this year um so bring on spring bring on all the beautiful weather and all the different canning recipes that are out there which there are several that i would like to try like canning beef is one i've never canned beef i've canned venison but not beef i've canned rabbit but not chicken but rabbit and chicken's kind of the same thing um, but that is a few of my goals that I have for this year. Um, so that is it for today. So I'll see y'all later and everyone have a very blessed day. What are some of your goals for 2023? Hmm?